Welcome back to episode two of Making the Cut. In this project, we're showing you how to use acrylic templates to make a wide range of beautiful pieces. In our last episode, we had our pieces sized and rough cut on the bandsaw. In this episode, it's all about the router table where we get our flush trim edges and our profiles. So stick around and let's have some fun. Here I'm using X-Fasten double-sided tape. This stuff is super tough. I've never had any issues with it slipping or sliding on me uh, when using it in an application like this. I even use it on the CNC for hold downs sometimes and it's just really tough stuff. I'll put a link in the description below. Okay, so now we're here at the router table. We've got our pieces uh, secured. We're gonna be using two different bits for this project. We've got this half inch shank uh, compression flush trim bit with the top ball bearing, and then this smaller quarter inch shank flush trim bit um, with the top ball bearing for some of the smaller um, holes. So let's get these set up and then we'll run some pieces through. It's always important in a project like this when you're using varying thicknesses of materials to keep an eye on your height of your router bit. You want to make sure that that bearing is always riding on the acrylic. And here you can see me with the smaller piece taking just smaller bites at the material and using my micro jig uh, safety handle. So safety is always the most important, especially on the router table. Those bits are moving super fast and you don't want to get caught in the wrong direction. Moving over to one of our epoxy pieces, you can see the big difference in the uh, dust material that comes from an epoxy piece versus just a wood piece. We've got really good dust collection on this router table, but it just makes a mess sometimes. So you gotta take your time, take little breaks in between to clear your, clear your workspace if you need to. You don't want any of that to get in the way and again, cause a safety hazard.
I just want to take a second again to appreciate this big, beautiful monster uh, flush trim bit. This is that half inch shank. It's got an inch and a half cut um, height maximum, and you'll see in just a second how it just melts through this super thick material. And again, we're just getting our workpiece height correct before we get started. Here's a quick zoom in of just how clean and perfect those cuts are on the flush trim bit. We've got a little work to do with some profiling on the edges and then on the sanding table, but I'm really happy with all these cuts. And here you can see how tough this double-sided tape is. You've got the acrylic piece bending before it pops off. So again, this is just a safety factor. I like to use good high quality tape and just have that peace of mind that your material is not gonna move. And of course, everybody's favorite and most satisfying part, peeling the wax off a brand new bit. We're doing a mixture of roundover and chamfer profiles on all these pieces. We're starting here with the small roundover and then I'll show you a bit change to that chamfer bit we just unwaxed.
Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the router table and the use of these acrylic templates. Thanks again to our sponsor Bits and Bits for supplying all these awesome bits for our edging and profiling. In next week's video, we'll wrap up this project with our final sanding and final oil up. Thanks again.